Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Let's go somewhere. I don't want to do any more of these plans, fuck them. We're not going to do it now. I'd rather get some, like, story stuff out of the way. Uh, let's go to Novaria first. Maybe Asteroid. The thing is, with these two places, I don't think I've ever really done them. I know one of them is like a DLC thing. Uh, why is the Citadel just like all the way here? Who knows? Well, let's do, I guess, the Ed uh, Exodus. Nah, let's do Novaria. Let's do that first. So I want to progress somewhat in this game. Pax. Alright, fine. Let's go here. So here's the question I ask. Do they call all the same things that we call it? Because it seems to be... Because, like, they don't call these systems and planets veils and all that kind of shit. We have to adopt their naming philosophy. Okay, let's not think too hard about that. Alright. Well, small tr frozen terrestrial world. Alright, let's go there, then. we be fucking cold. Approach control. This is the SSV Norman requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I mean... Come on, Joker, it's snowy as fucking balls. What, what do you expect? Alright, let's bring, uh... I don't know. Because we don't have full-on decryption yet. So, we may not we may not want to bring Rex along, but on the other hand, it's Rex. I mean, this, this would be a smart choice, because then that means we, there's nothing we couldn't unlock. But this is the fun choice, you see? You see the problem I have right now? Fine, we'll do the smart choice for now. But I'm I'm leveling decryption on me next, just so we don't have to bring along anyone else anymore. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right. Let's see. Do we have any interesting armors? Medium turn. What he can't use terrain armor yet. Uh, no, apparently not. He needs another level. Okay. Ah, uh, is there any goodies here? I'm on official Spectre business. So we've landed on planet Russia. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, ma'am. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Uh, I think if I told them right away, no, I think it would be out of relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? <laughs> uh, it's a shame we didn't get to hear that one. Oh well. I didn't. I like. I don't know all the dialogue options per se, so that's the that's kind of the problem. But we get to keep our weapons, and nobody else does. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. 
The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here? She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. The board doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. You know, I've actually never brought her along. I've always gone here first, really. I've actually never brought her along for this, and I've just realized that she talks about her, her mom and stuff, so it's kind of neat. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. The managers. Oh shit, to Henner. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Uh... You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. Alright, let's go do his thing. We gotta just go back up to the ship. Cause, yep. It's fast, don't worry. It's all good. Ah, oh, there's his package. <laughs> Let's talk to her. Get out of here. Oh. Good day, Commander. I trust you are behaving yourself, not mixing yourself up in any questionable activities. What if I am? Hypothetically speaking, what would you do? If you were, I would have to recite some tedious speech, then ask you to leave. Just so we understand each other. Why are you still here? Are you Guarding my ship? All of the companies have secrets. Some of them deal in things that are not quite legal. Having a Spectre here makes them nervous. Analea Sama is buried under petitions to kick you off world. So you're waiting here in case he makes that decision? It would be more accurate to say we are here to prevent incidents between employees and your crew. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> you first. I'm just a security guard. I heard that there were no human specters. How did you get that job? The specters like people well versed in killing. That'd be me. You certainly know how to allay a peace officer's fears. I served in the Marines for a decade, mustered out and went private sector. I was under fire a few times, so I ended up leading this detail. There are guards everywhere. Are there that many problems here? 
I am sure Parasini-san gave you the ultra-special blah-blah about business here. Everyone wants to be protected from everyone else, but everyone also thinks they have a special right to kick over everyone else. Don't they have their own security forces? <sighs> Everything from hackers to mercenaries. They have investments to protect, after all. But we are the only ones allowed to bear arms. Which is why the companies constantly try to bribe my people. I have a clear policy against freelancing. Anyone who works on the side is fired. Your job is preventing problems, not solving them. Most of my job is diplomacy. Two corps start yelling at each other, my people walk in, flash some ceramic, and they start talking civilly. If there is anything this job has taught me, it's how to be impartial. I'll be moving on. Very good, Commander. Please stay out of trouble. So we could tell at him, but I'm not going to do that because I want I want sweet deals. I don't actually know what the reward is if you don't decide not to do whatever it is. But yeah, it's the fastest way of doing this. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. Now, does the other have the package? Uh... Oh, what is the package anyways? I've been busy. I'll pick it up later. This one implores the Spectre for haste. The customer is quick-tempered. Show is me it? what you're what's, selling. Yeah, what's he got right now? Of course. Upgrades? Oh, uh, just weaves. Why do they separate this? I don't understand. Uh, let, me, let me check out what the package is all about. One sec. Alright, so apparently it's a weapon mod. That's what it is. I don't know what kind of weapon mod, though. Could be a neat one. But we can, we can, we have the potential to actually keep it. So Greetings, let's keep Spectre. it. Have you brought the package? I'm here to shop. We can discuss this. Of All course. Right. This one. Let's look at the items that he has. Grenade upgrade too. Uh, I mean, I could get the Titan armor, which would have been kind of nice. Man, I mean, I, I think I could still get it if I. Organize things appropriately. Greetings, Spectre. Of course. All right, armor. Armor isn't really any good either. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought? Of course. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna turn it in though. And probably keep it. Let's let's see if we can sell things to get the armor though. I really need that armor upgrade. And we don't need shock absorbers. Apparently, it just goes all the way back to the top every time. All right, our repair thing. No, we don't need that. We don't need the a lot of this stuff actually. Toxic seals. No. Which is the better armor that we have for him? I say the Asian one. It's better at the damage protection, which is what he really needs. Chemical rounds will keep. Combat sensor, cryo explosive. Wow, we're really far away actually from having it. Uh, man, like, yeah, I can, there's no way I could possibly sell enough of this crap to fucking get, buy it anyways. Greetings, Spectre. But Have if I give him the package, package, I maybe will be able to do it. Of course. This nah, I want to keep, I want to keep it, so. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, I, I shouldn't actually use that speed up technique. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking. Alright, we're telling on him. Mom! The guy's... Tanner's trying to fucking do shit. How can I help you? Where is I'd he? like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. 
Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. So you'll arrest him? No one here is fond of trials. They make shareholders nervous. More likely, we would simply let him go. Of course, he would be blacklisted by the companies here. What will you do for me in return? I would compensate you. The precise amount in credits depends on the severity of Opold's crime. Here's the package. Proof enough? I am no weapons expert, but it seems to me that this is a rather advanced device. Certainly contraband. It would have been unfortunate if this had reached its buyer. It's not yours yet. Make it worth my time. That is not the response I anticipated from a Spectre. I may have underestimated you. I am willing to give you 200 credits and a pass to leave Hanshan. Not without an understanding between us, of course. You can only go to Peak 15 to speak to Lady Benezia. If you cause trouble or if the staff asks you to leave, you will be thrown off world. Of course. But I'll keep that mod. It's military hardware. I can't leave it in the hands of a civilian. Uh, oh, uh, of course. If there is nothing else, I would like to go back to work. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. And I cannot open that. So we get ourselves the... Uh, the, the garage pass to get out of here already. Although... How can I help you? Uh, I don't know. Do we really want to know anything? Fine. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Haven't I seen Synthetic Insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. Binary Helix? They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. You're shit at it. All right. There was a couple of other things we could have done. Um, oh, by the way, if we go tell him that we gave it in, then uh, he'll be pissed at us. So that's exactly why we're going to go tell him, actually. You're the specter, right? Yeah, okay. They don't have anything to say to me here. Let's go tell him. Greetings, specter. Have you brought the package? Analeas has the package. He offered a better deal. 
The other did what? The specter has betrayed this one? The one called Analeus will send guards here. Does the other understand? It will be very difficult for this one to make its living here. You were breaking the law. If a real police officer had caught you, you'd be in jail for years. This one wishes the other to leave now. Show me what you're selling. Very what? Well. He still does that? <laughs> He's still wanting to sell me stuff. Did the prices go up? No, they're exactly the same. Uh, that's actually actually funny as fuck. Alright. Uh, so we just got radioactive rounds too. Alright, that's actually really not worth it, is it? Yeah, it's totally not worth it. How's that illegal here? Fuck that shit. Alright, totally wasn't worth it. Oh well. We could have gotten money out of it. We could have gotten like... It's actually not a whole lot of money, actually. It's like 500 credits. 750 if we bring it to the actual guy that was selling or something. That's what I saw about it. Uh, what's over here? Kind of curious where this goes. Alright, I can't talk with my teammates here. Sometimes I'll talk in the elevator, which is why, like, I probably shouldn't speed this up. But, who knows. How's the music playing? Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Um, so I, I should mention, uh, what was I going to say? Fuck, I don't even remember. Ah, here he is. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Eng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We 
You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improved speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't have that one. Fuck. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with you. Well, I wonder if you did the, the thing all the way, because I, I, I can't get any more intimidate points, man. I need it. That's what we're doing. We're doing decryption and then the other stuff. Anyways, yeah, I remember now I was going to talk about fucking personal Wi-Fi. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> such a bad idea. Why would you, what would you possibly need personal Wi-Fi on you for? Like, fuck. Any results? Uh, uh, Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. I drive a hard bargain. All right. Can't go into Intimidate anymore, so I guess we're just going to do uh, Decryption all the way. Fuck, really? I can't even do that one? Because the minute I get all the way into uh, Encryption, then it's like... Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to do First Jade, because that's what fucking she's here for. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Direct control? <laughs> uh, we're, uh, it's a joke for the second game, come on. Skip to the part where you tell me what you want and what you'll give me for it. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. How did you get this evidence? I arranged for certain devices to find their way into his office. Purely for my own interest, Synthetic Insights would never tolerate such action. They recorded many undocumented credit transfers. The data was transferred to my office. How did you get this evidence? I arranged for... Oh, uh, what the hell? It's just the same thing. Undocumented credit Is there anything I can do? I would never decline charity. However, there is one issue I should mention. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Alright, we're gonna leave it off there, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.